Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, it's great to see everybody again. John Mariani, the virtual gourmet, and my partner, John Coleman. How are you doing, guys? Very well. Doing great. John, uh, recently uh, I went to a tapas uh, restaurant, and um, I had heard about them. I'd never been to one before, uh, as that may seem at my uh, tender age. Um, and I expected, you know, what I had heard about tapas restaurants was that uh, it's all like eating hors d'oeuvres. Everything's served in small plates and stuff like that. Um, what I found was some pretty substantial plates. Uh, they were kind of made for sharing, you know, but but they were substantial amounts of food and they weren't cheap. It wasn't like, you know, having a, a little thing here and a little thing there and and it all adds up to a meal. There was a lot of food. Uh, well, that ain't tapas. Oh, uh, what did what, I get then? Well, what you first described that you thought you were going to get, the little hors d'oeuvre type of, uh, of uh, items, that's what tapas is. Now, of course, things have to become extrapolated and everything has to be made bigger in this country. So uh, basically what you were eating was Spa uh, a Spanish restaurant ah. with regular entrees and so forth, the, even if they call themselves a tapas. Um, and in, of course, in Spain, they would call it a tapas bar, a taberna. You know, they don't even if it's not a restaurant, you know, go to a restaurante to go to eat tapas. Um, they really are bars. And it's a lot of fun the way the Spanish um, eat tapas, um, which is most famous in San Sebastián uh, of the Basque country. Um, and here's what you do. All right, th think of any bar you go to, any Irish bar that we used to go to on North Avenue near Rochelle. And there are six of them, right? So we start. We would start at one, and you go in, and you have a little snack, you know, a Jimmy stick. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> and you go to the next bar, and you have a package of saltines, and then you know the next bar. So that's basically what tapas is. And each at each place, of course, you're drinking a beer. Okay, so here we are in San Sebastian. Spain. And you and I go into a tapas bar, and the place is packed. Absolutely. People jammed up next to the bar. Okay. And <clears throat> the bar is arranged with all of these various tapas, There's some with anchovies, and some with uh, Spanish ham and octopus and all sorts of things and shrimp and so forth. They all look delicious. So you take one and you eat it. And you drink it either with beer, uh, Spanish beer, or with cider, or with a, a sparkling wine, a light sparkling wine called Zacoli, which is poured by the bartender from about two feet above his head in a stream into your glass, which is you know, part of the ritual, and it's, it's kind of fun. So you finish that, and you put, it, you put the plate back in the bar, and if you stick around, if you have two or three of them, he counts the plates. Because you charge by the little dish, okay? Look like saucers, and that's how he knows what you had. Because he's 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 crazy back there. He's not taking orders, writing things down. So, and then you go on to the next one, which might have a very different variety or the same. Because you you know you you had you didn't have anchovies the first place, uh, so the second place, oh, they're known for their anchovies, and the <clears throat> third place, they're known for their little tiny omelets and so forth. Oh, and the mushrooms at the fifth place. Um, this goes on for, could go on for hours into the night because the Spanish, especially up in the Basque country, um, like to start eating at nine or 10 o'clock in the evening. So it's a lot of fun and, uh, you don't sit down, you can sit down at the table. Um, they have tables. Um, but largely that's what the experience is and that's how you should go about it. And that's what you should drink because, you know, th this is what you learn. We were talking in another program prior to this about Americans being intimidated, intimidated, uh, in various ethnic restaurants, well, this, I just told you how to do it. Um, there's nothing to it. Learn how to do it. I, I like the uh, the tapas idea. I, I, obviously, I didn't get a tapas experience, but I like that idea. It's a pub crawl with food. A pub right. crawl with food and uh, a lot of gaiety. And, of course, there's the soccer game playing. Barcelona is playing. <laughs> right. uh, San Sebastián and so forth. And all of that, uh, but it is a—it's a bar experience and a lot of fun. And the food's a lot better than the places on North Avenue and New Rochelle. Right. I, I remember uh, going. Uh, I went. To, I went to college in downtown Manhattan, and uh, we would always go to eat at an Irish pub. 
And uh, so I had a tapas experience, uh, even if it wasn't <laughs> Spanish, uh, uh, three or four days a week. And it was just wonderful. I mean, you could get all the little things that you really love to eat, okay? Just a taste of it rather than have a whole plate of it. Right. And you could have yeah. a whole plate as well. So it really, that was a, it was a wonderful experience of having all these wonderful different tastes yeah. uh, uh, to enjoy uh, while you're spending a half hour, an hour, uh, sometimes longer uh, over lunch and conversation. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was very, very uh, generic to the uh, to Irish bars. Or if you go to a Brazilian churrasco before you have the meat, mm. you know, gray beans and, and, and the spring beans and every, everything um, before that. So um, it's not unknown to other cultures. But the way it's done and, the, uh, as I say, the, the enjoyment of a tapas bar is to join in on the fun. Well, now I've got to find a real tapas. Uh, bar. Oh, I'm sure that's that's the place that I went. The food was great. Yeah. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't the tapas experience. I'm going to no. have to find a real tapas. Okay, bar. so to our audience out there in Southern California, if you can, particularly in the San Diego area, please send us information so that John Coleman can go and enjoy a true Absolutely. tapas experience uh, in Southern California. Absolutely. Let's let's hit the tapas trail. Thanks, guys. I, I might, well, I just might add that because of health rules in America, the idea of putting things on a counter that everybody's breathing on, especially. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, it's probably not going to be allowed. So you'd probably have to order at the table or something. I don't know. It, it, yeah. you know it's like gym, Chinese dim sum. They, they push it around. You say, I want this. I want that. I want this. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be changed for a while. Mm -hmm. All right, John. When I come see you, we'll go. We'll do tapas. No, we'll go down North Avenue to relive our salad. <laughs> you're Ute. You're Ute. We, we'll do another video on all the bars on North Avenue. So, I, <laughs> talk to you soon. Bye bye. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.